Our next Pulling Hall of Fame inductees are being so honored in a large part for the innovations they have brought to the sport. But you won't see their names punched into castings, painted on side shields, pronounced over loudspeakers, or printed on banners. No, the mark that Ken and Cindy Lamping have made on our motorsport has to be studied to be seen. The Lamping's relationship with truck and tractor pulling began in 1975 when Ken was asked by a friend to serve as co-chairman of the pull at his home county fair in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Ken had never pulled, though then, now as Ken notes, I love motorsports, period. When the Freeborn County Fair Association signed on with the Gopher State Tractor Pullers the following year, Ken became a director. Cindy helped with entry, and the two operated a pair of scales. Ken started his pulling career in 1977 in out-of-field classes in Minnesota and Iowa, then built an international 966 over the winter of 1985 and 86 for competition in a class exclusively to Gopher State called Modified Stock. By this time, Ken had also assumed the presidency. Running a lot of the same classes, Gopher State and NTPA's Minnesota Tractor Pullers Contest Corporation were in direct competition without enough vehicles to go around. And Ken observed, it made us weaker. Unification was the solution, but would the NTPA be receptive? A few days after the NTPA's December 1987 convention that was dominated by the discovery of and reaction to the association's deepening debt, Ken called the NTPA office in Columbus. With much of the staff out during the holiday season, answering the phone was World Pulling International President and CEO David P. Schreier. By 3 o'clock that afternoon, Schreier had scheduled a meeting between Ken and the president of the Minnesota Corporation, Dennis Christensen. Two hours into that meeting, the deal was done, and on February 27, 1988, the United Pullers of Minnesota was born. By 1990, the number of state pulls had doubled under Ken's leadership, and UPM was named Member State of the Year. Good news came out of that stressful 1987 convention, too. Tobacco giant Copenhagen Skoll signed on to become title sponsor of the entire 1988 NTPA pulling circuit. Looking for someone to coordinate this massive 500 event operation about a month after the Minnesota merger, Mr. Schreier thought of Mr. Lamping. Looking for someone to organize the bookkeeping side of what became hands down the best sponsorship program this sport has ever seen, Mr. Lamping thought of Mrs. Lamping. Cindy had just returned to college at Mankato State University and to help with her coursework, she had purchased a personal computer. They got to work putting rhyme and reason out of reams and reams of requirements. The division of labor on this pulling team was thus decided. Kenny made the calls, Cindy did the paperwork. Cindy became UPM's secretary in 1994. And when Ken was named to the WPI board a year later, Cindy assumed the title of member state coordinator, a position she held until 2011. In that same eventful 1988, Ken ran his 966 in the pro stock class and won a state championship. But with other responsibilities consuming his time, Ken sold the tractor to a good home in Pennsylvania. Management has always interested me, explains Ken, and now his involvement could continue exclusively in that vein. As Albert Lee's promoter, UPM's president until 1993, NTPA's sponsorship coordinator until 1995, regional director through 2000, and for over 20 years a member of the WPI board, which he served as vice president from 1998 through 2014. Even though Ken was no longer pulling, the modified stock class appealed to him. Maintenance was relatively inexpensive to the competitor. That affordability attracted new pullers and generated memberships. And reliable numbers of vehicles benefited promoters. He proposed that NTPA adopt the division renamed Super Farm. It was accepted in 1996 and ascended to the Grand National ranks by 2003. Minnesota competitors were so supportive of it, Ken recalls, but soon it went way beyond what I was thinking of, peaking at almost 400 super farms in competition nationwide. As regional director, Ken identified the three most important contributors to a good event, a good announcer, a good weight transfer, and a good track. Toward meeting the first condition, he hired authoritative voices, Kenny Mack and Bill Darrington. 
Toward the third, he made sure that events featured well-built and well-maintained power tracks. On the subject of sleds, my favorite part of pulling, he confessed, was the first time he witnessed Vaughn Bauer's new machine. He knew he'd found the sled to book for a safe, solid, and scintillating performance he was looking for. Also arising from the Copenhagen Skoll NTPA partnership was the multi-event Minnesota Sweep. It did a lot of good for us, said Ken, of the program which remains a prominent part of Minnesota pulling. In a 1990 Puller Magazine feature, Ken advised other member state presidents that their challenge was to keep and grow sponsorship. You must approach taking care of the sponsor as you would take care of your job. Extra effort is not one thing that you can do. It's the only thing that you must do. That kind of counsel has made the Lampings a trusted voice throughout their involvement in the national pulling. When I'm looking for advice, said NTPA General Manager Greg Randall, one of the first people I think to call is Ken Lamping. Dave Schreier concurred. Ken and Cindy Lamping's sincere efforts were recognized and accepted by the competitors, the promoters, fans, and sponsors. Their dedicated hard work and loyalty to WPI in its formative years was extremely important to its success. For Ken, one issue faced by the modern NTPA trumped all others, the implementation of the roll cage specifications in 1999. There was so much opposition, Ken reflected. That same year, Ken felt Roger Peterson's superstock shake the ground when it overturned in Hutchison in what he describes as the most violent incident I have ever seen. The specs had almost certainly saved a life. Ken is grateful for the support of competitors and close friendships he has formed with so many families in the sport. And the lady who for so many years was behind the scene agrees that the part of the job she misses most is the people she got to talk to. So there's a mark left by Ken and Cindy Lamping. Reconciliation that made a struggling state thrive. Supervision that kept sponsors and states in the fold. A division that has welcomed hundreds of new pullers clear vision uh, for what would help the sport expand and careful administration to ensure that it did just that. In that Polar Magazine feature that focused on member state sponsorship, Ken asserted, it's worked in Minnesota, it can work anywhere. Those words ring true when applied to so many of Ken and Cindy Lamping's lasting contributions to the NTPA, as well as their service to it together. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. and Mrs. Ken and Cindy Lamping, members of the 2016 class, the Pulling Hall of Fame. <laughs>